This is the MyPhone A3 um, iPhone clone running Google Android. Um, this is a hands-on, just to give it a, a quick look. It's a fairly standard um, iPhone form factor, um, as you'd expect with a clone. The MyPhone Wi-Fi logo at the back and the uh, camera lens. Um, it's a fairly fast boot, actually. It, it, it's faster than the... Um, than the T-Mobile Pulse and about takes about 30 seconds to boot from scratch even with a 16 gig uh, micro SD card in. Um, it's perfectly uh, recognizable inside, it has the, the um, standard um, icons in it. Um, one surprise, a really nice screen, very responsive, capacitive screen. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually better than the T-Mobile Pulse that, uh, that I've been trying. Um, very easy to use. In terms of applications, you get the standard set of Android applications. Here's the settings button. Um, if you look at the About Phone, we'll see it's running um, Android 1.5. Um, again, very standard uh, with the usual things you'd find in this area, wireless controls, etc. Um, the at the bottom row here it's phone of course which is for things like dialing out um, standard fair messaging uh, for text messaging uh, a music player which is again nothing uh, extraordinary but it works it does the job it plays music as well as you want to the interesting thing to see if I if I run that up again is that you'll see this has the menu and the back button actually on the screen are soft buttons to complement the um, the standard single button here at the base. Um, what else have we got? We have the ability to load on um, external applications, Android applications. It has no marketplace um, um, built in, so you need to use a third party. I've got Sam and AppBrain um, installed on here to find applications from third party sources. Uh, it's a, a 624 megahertz processor, so it's uh, fairly quick. Um, it's no slouch, in, in fact. Um, and although I can't get um, 3G indoors here, I can certainly get uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, let's see with the browser. I've installed Opera on here, but it doesn't work um, for some reason. Well, it, it did work for a little, then stopped. I'm not quite sure what the reason is. The internal browser works fine. Um, the uh, retailers say that there should be an update to Android um, uh, coming soon, which hopefully will clear up these issues. There's also a processor update, I believe, coming into this one to, to bring it up to, to 800 megahertz. So here's the browser running under Wi-Fi. <coughs> As I say, it's nothing spectacular, but it does the job. It, uh, it, it surfs and you get... You know, usual kind of response you'd expect to find of a phone of this type. I think one of the surprises is that for a clone phone of this price, it actually works very well. I mean, there's lots of little glitches, um, you know, which are, um, are kind of annoyances, but in terms of actually just running, and again, here we have the menu and the back key, and I can use the single button to take myself back as well. Um, one of the, the big annoyances is this particular iteration of the software does not seem to like to keep the icons on the screen um, where you put them so when you reboot um, the icons go back to somewhere else or it, it seems to be fairly random actually I'm not quite understanding why it's uh, it does that um, but apparently uh, this should be fixed with a, an update um, well, what else can I do that? I'm sure just to show you it takes third-party apps there's Handsent uh, installed from the App Store um, works fine for SMS texting great little app that uh, free app um, if we look at the um, gallery, the image gallery, the camera, well, <laughs> the probably best not to say a lot about the camera. It's, um, it's pretty um, awful, awful actually. <laughs> um, we do get multi-touch, which um, is, again, a pretty cool factor on a phone of this, of this ilk. Um, and it works, as you can see. Uh, you have to go back through the manual. There is also, of course, a video, two cameras, front and back, so you can take, um, you know, video conferencing as well as um, uh, standard video. 
The video itself, uh, as you expect from the camera, quality is not fantastic. And the strange thing is it does play the video upside down on the, on the handset. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is. Um, probably just keep you on your toes. Um, as you can see, the video is definitely playable. Um, the frame rate is not great for a 600 megahertz processor, but again, this is some stuff that, that one assumes can be fixed in um, software updates. Um, oh yes, I forgot to show you, there, there is of course a, a, a uh, I'll show you that. There is of course the, the auto rotate for you. Hard to do multi-touch with holding a camera or over the top of a camera. Um, battery life, what you'd expect. <laughs> um, it comes with two very um, hefty 1600 milliamp hour batteries. So you've got enough batteries for to, battery power to keep you going for a fairly um, reasonable length of time. Uh, it plays games as you'd expect. Um, so I'm not very good at labyrinth, I have to say. Um, but that shows it does. Oops, it does have a uh, a, a oh yes, there you go. Oh no, a little embarrassing, I think. So we'll stop that. Um, and I've tried other games on it as well, and it does play those um, very well, actually. Um, so there's uh, no compatibility problems there in terms of screen and and graphics capabilities. Has an FM radio. Um, as I say, it uh, the camera is fairly very rudimentary. There are no settings um, for the camera at all. Calculator is fully functional. He says not being able to test this at all. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, of course, I've installed my favourite Android app, which is Kill Advanced Task Manager. Um, so there you have it. The my phone A3, um, a great little phone actually. I mean, for, apart from, oh, let me just show you before I go. In a quick, there's the battery for you. Um, the SIM card goes in the top here. The micro SD card goes in here. Um, 1600 milliamp hour battery, uh, fairly well made, substantial, awful camera. But there again, it seems to be. Uh, a norm for Android, doesn't it, really? Lousy uh, cameras. There you go. A3.